Hey guys, we're a team of DT, and today we'll be introducing this up trending manga, Chainsaw Man, with professional artist Dai Tomura. Hey, I'm Dai Tomura. I'm an artist. Nice to meet you. And I'm Tayo, and this is. Muku over here. I've never actually read this manga, and it's actually my first time seeing this book, but. Like, what's, what's the story like? Can you briefly give us an introduction? Chainsaw Man is a Japanese manga written and illustrated by Tatsuki Fujimoto himself, publicly known for publishing Fire Punch and other notable one shot mangas such as Liftback and Goodbye Eri. Part 1 of the Chainsaw Man series here is the story of Denji, an impoverished young man who makes a contract that fuses his body with that of a dog like devil named Pochita. And Denji eventually joins the public safety. Devil Hunters, a government agency focused on fighting against devils whenever they serve in Japan. The second arc of the story in the manga serialization right now focuses on Asa Mitaka, a high school student with yet another troubling story, which I'll refrain from avoiding spoilers. Um, well, hearing that brief introduction from Muku, um, have, have you ever read this manga, Chainsaw Man? No. <laughs> Never read it before. Do you know the creator of this called Fushimoto Tatsuki by any chance? Never heard of him. <laughs> I see. Um, well before this shooting I've, um, I've briefly read this manga and there's lots of um, violent drawing. Just from seeing this um, drawing, like what kind of impression do you get? Yo, this is incredible. Maybe a bit gross perhaps? But really, you don't see this kind of depiction in shonen manga. So yeah, I think this main character, um, Chainsaw Man, has white as a keynote. And I think the opponent's character is mainly depicted in black, and uses black as blood. So I think he's using this contrast to not only express the blood, but to also make the Chainsaw Man itself stand out. Also, manga is basically using white and black. And you have to really focus using tone, whether it's light or dark, and it gives various effects. But the thing is, you can only use black as only black. So I really like the way this doesn't use red or bright colors to give that bloodish effect, but uses only black. And it makes it cool because it's Combining with the shadows too. So yeah, has this become an anime? Yes, it has. So in the anime, is the blood red? It's red and gruesome at times. Oh, so it's a bit grotesque. So it might have been a hard part to express the blood um, when making the anime. Like manga, when they want to draw the face for example, they actually ignore the frame um, intentionally. So when they want to add the shadow and do the coloring for the anime, it won't add up. So that might have been a hard part. Also, since manga expresses white and black very well, I think reading the manga is the best way to know how fascinating it is. So as Tayo said, there's quite a bit of gore and dark humor in the series. And despite the story being based on hunting down devils, there is this touch of realism to it that adds this charm to the readers. An important element to this realism is produced by the significant side characters who aren't simply foils or tools for the development of the main characters. One of my favorite characters is Kobeni, a young devil hunter with cowardly traits and shy traits. Uh, relative to all the other devil hunters in her department who have strong motives to avenge the devil with strong convictions, Kobeni was forced to work as a devil hunter from its high pay so she can support her family and especially his brother so he can attend university. Amidst the pure insanity of the series, the gruesome realism behind her panicked reaction during the fight with the devils and reason for fighting is what adds so much charming essences to the series overall. And this culminates to making the series grounded to certain aspects of reality. From seeing this illustration in this manga, who do you think this author got his inspiration from? The first time when I saw the picture, um, I don't know if this is true, but I felt the devils especially might have been inspired by Togai-san, known for Hunter x Hunter and Yu Yu Hakusho. But really, I think the touch is pretty similar. 
um, the way he uses not only one line but several lines to express the outline and the wrinkles is what makes it close. Also, he's drawing some lines speedy and some lines slowly, and if you draw it slow, it gives that kind of blurry effect. And I think this is also something he might have been inspired. We can't really show you this um, picture, but from this picture right here, I can see some elements from the American comics mm. here, but is there like any elements that you can find here as a like, illustrator? Mm. Probably the shadows is giving the American comic effect. Because usually in Japanese manga, um, they express shadows using cross-hatching, uh, where they use several lines. Whereas in American comic, they cover up the shadow in complete black. And that's why I think it gives that effect. So in fact, there's definitely these elements that Fujimoto Tatsuki is being inspired by the American comics. And recently, he released this illustration of what he perceived as Captain America from the um, original Marvel comic heroes. Mmm. Since it's using color, you can see that it's not using any black at all, which is interesting. And also, I think he was able to put a bit of his originality into this piece. So I just want to ask one more question. Um, which one do you prefer? American comics or the Japanese manga? As an illustration. Mm, I think American comic is better with coloring since you can sort of express more when you draw like frames and muscles. And like I got number one in American style caricature. But when I traced my roots, I was inspired by Japanese manga when I was young. But when I started to get older, I started to look more into American art, which gave me a lot of inspiration. And it kind of gave my art a mixture. And that sort of became my originality. So which one's better in technical aspect? Ooh, that, that's a hard one, but I think we're inspired by each other. Probably comic artists around the world respect Japanese manga, and artists in Japan probably respect foreign comics too. But there were times where every comic artist got inspired by Osamu Tezuka. But nowadays we have tons of information on the internet, so this might not be the only case. So it's very hard for me to decide which one's better. So this concludes it for today, but what are y'all's thoughts on this? Actually, I've seen this manga in lots of places, and first I thought it was just in gruesome manga, but listening to today's talk, it was incorporating the society's aspect, and it was also a really sophisticated manga, and I think I'll start reading after this. So, what do you think, Dai? Indeed, from the title and from listening to other people's voice, I thought it was sort of a scary or a horror story, but it sounds wrong. And from the art perspective, it's very good, it's stunning, and I think I have to learn more as well as to put my opinion into words better. But hey, if we have a second video, I think we will be able to do that. <laughs> but it's up to you guys. So currently, the second arc, as well as the anime adaptation, is being streamed right now. So, feel free to check it out. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Give us comments. We'll be waiting. Mm.